I mean, that's what you get for <laughs>
but your neck seems a bit loose. It's okay, sometimes my master makes mistakes. This is just a small flaw compared to the other dolls. What the hell did that mean? What's important is that from now on, I'll be your best friend. That sounds wonderful. Do you have, do you want to play or something with me? Hmm, my master stored my toys in the closet. Can you get them for me? Sure. Open up! The closet is still stuck. Can you try that again? Uh, I don't really want to. I tried my best, but I can't open it. Do you want me to do something else? I'm hungry. You're a doll, you can't even eat. No. You'll be the one eating. But I'll be able to feel everything you eat. Huh? Is this a fucking... Voodoo doll? My master linked us all your senses and emotions to me so I can easily understand you. Wow, that's amazing. So I have a feeling this game is going to be like some trauma that this... The creator of this game has went through. And he's like expressing some sort of awareness or something. You're reading this letter at 1 p.m., aren't you, sleepyhead? I have prepared your favorite dish in the fridge, so remember to heat it up before eating lately. I have noticed you've been getting lazy about eating. You know I don't have time at home, so please learn to take care of yourself and stop making me worry. One more thing, don't forget to take your medication after eating. Okay. You're holding something else. Just to put this up. The fucking sleep demon is standing on the sheet. Okay, we got the food. Oh, I have to microwave it probably. Microwave it. Okay. Put it there. Eat the food. Is that your favorite dish? Do you want to see me perform some magic? Yes, please. All right, I'll make this plate of food never run out. Every time you finish eating, the dish will restore to its original state. What the? Wow! That, wow, that's amazing. What else can you do? Yeah, what else can you do? But, but, don't break it. That's a fucking demon. What the hell is happening? Oh my god. What the hell just happened? I don't know, you guess. I don't know, the bottle my dad's gonna whip my ass. Oh god. I hope he's still asleep. Oh god. Your dad? Don't worry, my master has taken your dad away. What? What? You taking my dad away? Faja? That's my room. Oops. Faja? Oh, the doll's in here. Where's my dad? As I said, my master has taken your dad away. Why? Because your dad is a bad person. I mean, did you see him in his tidy whities He often hits and yells at you. Parents like that are taken away by my master to protect the children like you. Wow. But this is too much. My dad doesn't deserve that. He is a bad person. No, he's not. Please let my dad go. I'm begging you. All right, all right. But my master won't like this. It's quite a long way to where your dad is being held. You'll have to use a shortcut if you want to get there in time to save him. Show me the way. The shortcut is through your closet. Bro, what the fuck? He's pointing. Open up! You still can't open it? That's disappointing. I guess we'll have to use your parents' closet then. The fuck you just wasting my motherfucking time? The fuck? 
wasting my motherfucking time. You should know that these closets can function as portals. They can take you anywhere you want, including where your dad is being held. Give it a try. Okay. Um, there's nothing in here. Oh, right. I forgot. There's a few steps you gotta do in order to activate this shortcut. Bring your dad's radio and place it in front of the closet. What the fuck? Put it down. This radio will work like an elevator button, but you need to select a frequency first. If you choose the right frequency, the door will open to the place you need to go. Oh, okay, I got it. First try. Seems like that's not it. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was it. What? What the fuck? Oh, God. That was a Minecraft door nose. I'm scared. This is like actually like this is not like the funny type of horror. This is like sh just straight fucking evil like horror. Like this is like nah. Traumatizing horror. I think this is the one. Go ahead and step in. I'll stay here and watch the house. Okay. Wish me luck. Oh god. Maybe my dad should stay here, to be honest. What the fuck is that? It's a rat! Oh, shit! A rat! There's a rat! There's a motherfucking rat! There's a motherfucking rat! Hello? What's up? I'm looking for my dad. Describe. My dad's name is Bruce. Wait, wait a moment. Let me search for Bruce. Hello. There are many Bruce's here. Any more details? <laughs> uh, this Bruce a good or bad Bruce? Well, my dad is the kind of person who gets a bit angry. So he's a bad Bruce. Let me see. There are still many bad Bruce's. Be more specific, please. What else does he do? He often yells. Still not enough information. Sometimes he hits me. Oh. And slaps. And that's all. The door is behind you. I, you're telling me I had to get, just say those things and you found the fucking person? Boo! Haha, <laughs> he just got startled. Who are you guys? Just like you, we're kids on the way to find our parents. We're staying here for a bit. Do you want to join us? No, not really. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry. Okay, see you later. Bro, what the fuck is this game? Honestly. Bruh, this one's in a fucking grave. This game is dark. So. What the fuck is going on? This game, Cub Scouts played, and there was a couple other people that I watched played this game. And they're like, oh yeah, this game is really sad and depressing. And I'm like, oh, this is my dad. Please stop punishing me. It's me, dad. Please stop punishing me. What has he done to you? Come on, let's go home or Mr. Redface will take us both of us. Please stop punishing me. Oh God, what the fuck am I? I don't know if I want to play this game anymore. I mean, that's what you get for fucking... Oh my god. F Jesus Christ. That's what you get for hitting a child, to be honest. Why are you looking at me like that, woman? Broken ass neck. What'd I tell you? Oh. <laughs> Broken ass neck. Hey, hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you hiding in the closet? Mr. Redface has taken dad. Didn't you bring him back? Oh, well, that's a good thing then. Uh, <laughs> I'm not.
that joking? It's a long story. Let me explain. How's your doll? How's your doll Ron doing today? Is he all right? The doll mom? How could you know about it? Of course I know, since you haven't taken your medicine today. What? This isn't the first time you've had such hallucinations. Are you gaslighting me? Every time you tell a different story, but the common factor is always that stupid doll. Don't you remember the previous times? No. Sai, I don't know what it is. What's wrong with you? Oof. Just go to bed. It's midnight already. Damn! Look at them curvatures. Look at them pointy angles. <laughs> um, okay. So far, what I'm getting from this game is that my parents are horrible, which makes sense because the game's called Bad Parenting. My mom likes to out me and make me feel like I'm crazy. So she knows she's a, she's a casual gaslighter. That's not going to help me with making decisions in the future as an adult. I totally missed that jump scare. Oh! It's Squidward! It's Squidward! Yeah, it... Yeah. Yeah. What happened, son? Are you alright? Mom, there's a fucking... You let in the demon in the, the goddamn house. You cursed us all. Oh my god, don't fucking look at me like that, you crazy <laughs> son of a bitch. Do you feel better now? Yeah, mom. It's mid -refi. It's alright. Tomorrow, I'll take a day off to stay home and take care of you. Really? Promise me. I promise. Now go back to sleep. I bet she's not gonna be home. I, be I bet you a million dollars. <laughs> she ain't staying home. Yes, mom. Mom! You broke the promise again? Yeah, obviously. Obviously. The thing is, though, too, is, like, okay, the mom seems shitty, but, like, I could understand if she's just trying her best. Like, if she's working multiple jobs to, like, provide. I could get it, but, like, it's also, like, she could just communicate and be like, hey, kid, like, I want to be, like, stay home and take care of you or whatever. <clears throat> but I can't. <clears throat> okay, I guess I've got to eat. Uh, that light turned on back there. What the fuck? Take my medication, maybe? Speaking of which, I actually got to take my medication. Twelve seconds later. These paintings also make me want to freaking die. Oh, the doll. Ah! Who the fuck beat up my doll? Exposed. What happened to you? My master beat the shit out of me. Oh. Oh. He wasn't happy about what happened yesterday. I'm sorry, this is my fault. By the way, have you seen my mom anywhere? My master has taken her away. What? It just happened. I'm sorry, I couldn't stop him. You should run away because he'll come back soon to take you too. No, I have to save my mom and my dad too. Who the fuck is Mr. Redface? Like, why? Why? What is happening? What is, like, the background to this? <clears throat> How? Don't you see what he did to me? Don't you see? Don't worry, I got a passport. I found this on my dad's prison. What? I think it might help us defeat him. What the fuck is that? That's that's the spell to defeat Mr. Redface. What is happening? Come on, quickly go into the closet to find where your mom is being held. Damn, that dog got fucked up. He's got bandages wrapped around his head. What the fuck? What are these kids doing here? Uh-oh. Quickly throw the spell in there and take cover. Take cover! Quick! Uh-oh. It's the demon! It's the fucking paralysis demon! Psh, 
these are the best hours. Is this kid like dis de disassociating or something? Where the door? Hello? Was I not supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to walk back there? He got fucked up. What happened to you? My master has been defeated. The magic he casted on me is also fading. Are you disappearing? Don't worry, this is what I wanted. You should go outside and see your parents. I don't think I want to see my parents, to be honest. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's coping with his reality right now. Gerald? Biffany? Dad, Mom! Y'all are free now! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Liar! <laughs> You were neglecting this family for another man. Aren't you ashamed to lie to your son? And what about you? You do think you're better than me? You've just been home, leeching off me all these years round. What kind of father are you? No matter what I do, it's my business. I still bring home money to support my child. And if you think I'm a whore, you're lowering yourself even below that. Bruh. Enough is enough. Enough. I'm not even reading. You're still here tomorrow and take my son and leave. You stay right there. What the fuck? Nah. 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 <laughs> nah. I'm laughing because I'm uncomfortable. Yay, not know how to cope with my emotions, so we drink alcohol. Yay. I had a feeling. I had a feeling that red face meant like alcoholic because you know how like people's faces go red when they're like drunk. So it's the fucking father that's the sleep paralysis demon. Plot motherfucking twist. What the. I'm very sorry, Ron. This, this is me? You've always known because I am the knowing part of you. You've tried to deny and reject these things and made up stories to make yourself feel better about you and your dad and me and I have to find a way to lead you back to reality. 
tried many times many ways to help you accept that the truth as easily as possible and every time I failed guess what happens tick tock boom all the memories disappear you once again wake up at the start point which is the night your dad How long have I been dead? 14 days. It can't have been that long. What really happened to my parents? As for your dad, he's hiding in the cheap motel room. He's hiding? What a fucking pussy. Dun dun dun! FBI open up! What the f What the fuck is this game? Go home with me, dad. <laughs> what about mom? She still sees me. Doesn't she? That's right, because she's only home late at night. But if it's daytime... Sun! <gasps> oh, and that's why she's crying in the room. So is he like a ghost? Can I move? Apparently not. Oh! Who are those people? Do you have any clues about where your husband is hiding? Bruh. We are literally- there's a camera on every corner of the street nowadays. You could easily fucking find this guy. Two seconds. You could probably find this guy. You just dropped something, ma'am. Oh, it's the spell. What is that? Oh, because he's a ghost. He <laughs> threw that shit in there. It was the motel card that was on the fucking desk next to him. But I'm not sure it's mine. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I think he might be at the hotel. Killer father arrested. I knew. I look at that bitch. At look at that little fucking. He's got like eyes that are over here. That's how you know. Why is she there? What, are we having a funeral inside my house? I got snot running down my nose the entire time. So all these kids are dead too? He's literally sitting in the fire! Oh, that's really sad. The end. There's a part two? Moral of the story, go to therapy. <laughs> if you want to be a parent, go to therapy. Whatever the father was beaten out of his child was things he didn't like about himself. It's because he was hurting inside. You seriously got to be like really fucking 
not present to think that like hurting a child is like okay you know just like insanity yeah there and then there is a barrier of unintentionally and intentionally causing harm kids understand things even if you think they do they don't so you can't hide your troubles yeah kids are kids are just like any other relationship you know you spend so much time with somebody that it becomes a mirror like a child a child is like looking in the mirror you know your issues and the problems you got to work on are staring right on back like right back at you uh, i don't want to cry because uh you know but it's a fucking sad game it was a good story anyways Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in one of my next ones. I got a website. Check out my store. If you're interested. And maybe tomorrow we'll play some Elden Ring. Bye!